All right, so this is gonna be like the simplest design space tutorial ever because cutting anything out of vinyl, especially just names like this, is so, 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 so simple. So, sorry I said so like a million times. To get started, all you need to do is come over here to your left toolbar and we're gonna click on the text option. So you can see right down here, it populated a text box for us. So the font I'm using here is Magnolia Sky. Oops. Sorry, Magnolia Sky. So I'm just going to search for that in my toolbar here. And I purchased this, I think from Creative Fabrica. So I'm able to use it. Um, but you can find similar fonts on Defont or font bundles um, if you are not looking to use them commercially. So all we need to do is start typing our name. So I'm going to do Julia. So we have Julia there. And then I'm going to create another text box and type Maddie. So now all we have to do is see how these up here are connected and these aren't. So whenever you type out a script font, it is not going to have the letters connected because it doesn't know how you want the letters to connect because it can't predict what you're going to type, right? So all of the letters are individual, but to make it look super clean and professional, we want to make sure that we connect all of the letters like up here. So all you have to do is select the text, come up here to this right toolbar and under layers, click ungroup. So now like if we don't have everything ungrouped, it's like all one big chunk of text, but now we can select each letter individually. So there are a couple ways you could do this. One, my favorite way to do it is just to select, just to click on a letter and I just get to manually move it over. So I'll zoom in a little bit so you could see better. So I like to manually click on each letter and move it over so they connect. But you can also click on a letter. But if you don't want to go through that hassle, you can just click on the word while it's ungrouped and you can minimize the letter space up here in this top toolbar. But I just feel like it is easier for me to control the letters by manually doing it <clears throat> myself. So I'm just going to move all of these letters over. So I'll come over here and do the same thing for Julia. I'm going to move this J out a little bit. Okay, so now what we want to do is we have everything touching now, but still you can see over here all of the letters are still separated. It's not like a big chunk of text like we have up here. So all you need to do is click your mouse or whatever you're using and drag your cursor over the entire. So now it has all of the let, uh, letters selected and you can see that over here too. Anything that's selected is gonna turn like a little darker gray and you just come down here and click weld. So now we have one chunk of text. So again, gonna do that for Julia. I'm gonna click and drag and come over here and click weld. So we are basically good to go now. The only thing we have left to do is to size these. So I already have these sized how I want them up here. So they're about four by two, a little more than four and by two and a half. So to size our new text, you're just gonna click on it. And I like to bring it over here in this corner just cause I kind of use it as my ruler. And you're gonna click this little unlock or this little lock. And it's basically going to unlock our text for us because we wanna do that because right now I can only move the text in one way. But if I unlock this, now I can move the text basically however I want. I can stretch it out however I want. So you just click on this little green arrow and you can make the text as big or as small as you want. 
So click the unlock and just stretch. All right, and so that is basically it. So now we can come over to make it. And you can see that our text is here, ready to go. So we hit continue down here and it's gonna find our machine. So I'm cutting this on my maker, but you could totally cut this out on a Explorer Air 2. I have that also, it's just not in commission. All right, so now we're gonna pick our materials. So we are just gonna cut this out on vinyl. And now you can see our settings are ready to go. And now I'll switch you guys over to the camera so we can make this. All right, so these are the tumblers I'm gonna be using. These are both from Michaels. They are the, if my camera will focus, Artists Mind Tumbler. I don't know if you'll be able to read that. You can kind of read that. So the Artist Mind Tumbler Goblet. Um, it is 18 ounces, so I thought these were super cute. I think they were like five bucks or something. Um, and my niece just got braces, so I thought this would be perfect for her. Because I think, I haven't had braces in like 20 years, but I think when you have braces, you like have to drink out of a straw, or it's like better if you drink out of a straw. I don't know, but I thought this would be super cute for her. And then of course, I have to make one for my sister-in-law too. Can't leave her out. And then the twins, they'll they'll get something. They get they get tons of stuff. I'm gonna be using just this scrap of Oracle 651, so it's permanent vinyl. And I'm just gonna throw this on my map, my map, my mat. All right. And I'm just going to scrape this down. And this is like such a quick and easy gift idea. Like if you have to go to a party or a hostess gift or something, you know, or a stocking stuffer and you're like, oh shoot, I don't have a gift or, you know, I want to add something. This is like such an easy thing. And you can add, you know, you like you could fill it with something too if you want. So like for my niece, for example, maybe I'll fill it with stuff that you can actually eat when you have braces or well I know what you're not supposed to have when you have braces like popcorn and chewy stuff so anyway but great 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 gift idea all right so we have our machine ready to go and our light is blinking so we can insert our mat and once our cricket light starts to blink like it just did hit that and we can start to cut And before I put any vinyl on, I'm just going to clean the outside just with some rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball just to get any like fingerprints or oil or anything off of it and let those dry. And we can unload our mat. So now I'm going to take my vinyl off my mat just by flipping it over and more bending, oops, bending the mat instead of pulling the vinyl off just so we can prevent it from curling. All right, so I am just going to weed out or get rid of the excess vinyl here. So I'm just gonna pull up a corner and just pull away. Oh, what we don't need, be gentle. Oh my God, why is this being so crazy right now? All right, so now I'm just gonna go back in and get rid of the middles of these letters. Alright, so we have our first name, Maddie. Alright, and now I'm going to do the same thing for Julia's. I'm just going to pick up a corner and pull away the excess.
All right, so now that we have both of our names out, we can put these on our tumblers. So I'm gonna be using this Expressions Vinyl um, transfer tape that Auntie Tay sent me. So I'm just gonna peel off a chunk. I've totally mangled this tape. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna peel off a chunk. That's big enough. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my transfer tape and I'm just going to place it onto my vinyl and scrape it on there. All right, and so now I'm gonna peel off my transfer tape so we're left with our vinyl. How I like to do this is I like to flip it over and peel off the backing instead of like peeling the transfer tape from the vinyl. I like to pull the backing away. I just feel like it's a little more seamless and easy. All right, so now we can put this on our tumbler. So I'm just gonna turn it to the side and I'm gonna have it go matty. So from top to bottom. So I'm just going to put it down in the middle first, press it on there, and then I'm just gonna work my way out. And I like to kind of press it all down first with my fingers just so I can make sure everything goes down smooth. And then I'll go in with my scraper and really scrape everything down. And then we can pull away. And so how cute does that look? All right, so now I'm gonna go back in and do the same thing with Julia's. I have the vinyl on my transfer tape, so I'm just gonna place it on there, like so. And again, just pressing down with my fingers first to make sure everything's smooth, and then I'll go back in with my scraper. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're like me and you're scared of resin and glitter, this is just such a cute and easy way to do a tumbler. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, happy crafting.